Hello, welcome to Zach 103 TV, and this is the 2024 Jazz 500. Starting on polls, Bobby Isaac in the 71. And uh, last week's winner was uh, Jet 64 part time entry. So we haven't had an official full points paying driver win a race yet. This being Daytona, we have a very pretty good chance another part time entry is going to win today. Highest starting part time entry of the two in the field is Skylar Taylor, the other part time entry being. So it's Wilmot in the 15, Wilmot Design Chevy. Uh, I got uh, Cax King, Dark X Rain, and uh, Reggie Fogelman in the booth with me today. Um, Y'all got any first thoughts? Oh, well, it's Daytona. Super Speedway racing. Obviously, we're going to see a lot of Super Speedway type racing. Two, three wide. A lot of pack racing. Pit stops, potentially. And... Well, also, there is a potential of Rex, but hey, you don't, never know. Good question. It doesn't matter how it's going to happen. It matters more when it's going to happen. Well, well, in this case, if it happens. Yeah, if. If and when. One thing to keep in mind, this well, race is the longest running of the Jazz 500. 70 laps is going to be the uh, timeline for this. Uh, 10 laps longer than the past two years. So we'll see how that goes. Current point le points leader coming in is, is uh, Cody Goforth, by the way. Reggie, Reggie you got any uh, first thoughts for this race? I guess he's AFK. Um, he's <laughs> Yeah, uh, LJ Toledo, uh, CCS rookie, going for rookie there. He's starting up front as well in that 53. Um, again, a lot of new drivers we'll get used to, introduced to throughout the season. You know, a lot of new paint schemes. Uh, some paint schemes are original to last season, like Bobby Isaac and uh, Jacob Shangle. Uh, uh, both the uh, cars that are up front in points starting in the top 10, so that's very interesting as well. Strike a slight concern for the uh, point, the rating system. However, might reward consistency a little bit too much, but we'll see how that goes. I ain't being seventy left. We may see pit stop. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll see, see pit stops, green or yellow. We'll see him. He was about to hear the command. Drivers, start your engine. And has been given. Are you outside? Who sounds like they're outside right now? Is anybody else? Oh, I'm in my that's house. That's a good question. I'm fairly convinced that's Reggie's mic. Hell no, I'm in the bed. I'm laying down. So. Dude, what the hell am I hearing fucking... Someone's mic sounds like there's wind blowing on their mic. Uh, language cactus. Sorry. Well, I don't think anyone's outside, but... Uh, let's not worry about that. Let's worry about the race. Away now. Let's see. Who gets a call for the green? Green flag. see cars disappearing in the back that's because I, I have my Red long distance of entertainment three yeah so well, you're, you're, you're not disappearing for the lead here we are gonna shuffle it up here comes the there's no Jacob. already don't you do it Toledo well, yeah Isaac is in the middle as he gets freight trained here comes oh. Gar who oh, I thought they were one. tired but I He's announcing his retirement after this season, uh, from what I understand. Yeah. Don't know if he'll stick with that or not. We've seen drivers in other weeks notoriously announce retirement and not stick to it. So, heck, we see it in real life, too. <laughs> there are certain drivers in the swish it right now we won't talk about. <laughs> Zach, who's well, the yeah, you. We thought Gar was going to retire this season, but thought he was going to retire next season. And there is... It's that, oh, but he, cars in the middle lane. He 2024 season though, didn't he? Not sure. I have to recheck the announcement. 
see, 89 and now take the lead. Five, I don't know. Stover from Dover. Actually, Stover from Maine, if I understand correctly. Based Stover. on that sponsor. Luis Albert Strong. Right. One in the wall. There's a car in the wall? I don't believe the I said 20 hit the wall. Uh, in the oval. The 20? You sure you just... Are you sure you just... It? If he did, I didn't see it. He's pretty far it back in the pack. It. So far, the Dodgers, well, never mind. Thought all Dodgers left the first three lanes, but. Yeah, another part time entry showing their. Uh, this is actually a part time entry with a little to no experience. This is only their third race in this league. Tyler Taylor. Tyler's a good driver. She she drove for me in the uh, Rally Energy Pro Series. She's a good driver. Let me get other series brought up. We're, we need folks on this race. Don't bring up other series. And don't worry about it. I mean, at this point, we haven't driven for them yet. I don't, I don't want no bad blood between other series. If anything, I can serve uh, a little bit of respect for other series. But uh, uh, Toyota train on the bottom looked like uh, and it looks like Toyota 3 wide for the lead now. As the Wick Rare racing car battle side by side, passing Skylar Taylor. Ooh. BGD there. Oh, aggressive move by Dana Paulus they got, Jr. Mm. So they got Gatorade versus A.W. Rootbeer. And they're not versus, they're more conjoined. I think they're uh, both owned by Pepsi, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. Otherwise, it'd be conflicting sponsors and I need to fix that. But uh, for now, we'll roll with it. I think I think they're both owned by Pepsi. I don't think they're teammates. No, they're teammates. Even though by the same $223. Yep, this is uh, one of those faster packages. And we got Wood Brothers number four, Frank Chilton on the bottom now. Same package we ran in uh, Smos. Uh, the right pace himself. Except the aggression's a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to expect at least a one wreck. Yeah, actually, the aggression's about 10% higher, so it's a lot higher. Oh, so yeah, we're probably going to expect a wreck. Toyota looking Except pretty dominant last right time now. Nothing really happened. Looking like the 2016 Daytona 500. Ah, that was a race. Well, the 66 so far is the boss of the field. Yeah, the 55 uh, is Zevil. He won Watkins Glen last season. Not the Jazz, not the Zach 103 TV 400, but the Watkins Glen Fall race, if you will. And started joining his, uh, started, decided to start his own operation and is currently leading. Leading and, uh. Oh, Zevil the Devil. Yep, he's got a toy to wall preventing anyone else from getting around. That was impressive. Three wide, several rolls back. Devil. It is mostly dominated. manufacturer teamwork at this point. Certainly. Did not think Toyota would be the manufacturers to work together this early in the race. So far, it is the top. We have what the top four. Yep. Yeah, it's a uh, three wide action. Get the lead. Causing a car or two maybe to pull away there a little bit briefly. We'll see how long that lasts. But leading the most laps, that's 10 extra points. Uh, Zevil could definitely use it. Frank Chilton could use it. You know, for his raw pace. Team he was... He did uh, in position. Yep, team he decided, on the second. Yep, the team he decided to join went to Toyota. Decided to stick with it for now. Um, fortunately had to leave. Co Cosworth had to lead him for that reason. Gallagher stuck with him. Whoa. Uh, Bird did not take that one. Yep, some Dan. What a Toledo. Yep, some Dan of the 63. He won the. Uh, he won the. Came, came, just came off fresh of a NCCRS or Smos championship. Running Roach Racing. Roach Racing, I believe. Uh, or wait, no, that's Smos. They're leading constructors. I believe. Wait, so many name changes that lower series. You're getting confused. I am. I'm gonna try to stick with Smos. I'm gonna try. <laughs> like, You're not gonna change it again after one year. I can't make any promises, but that the plan oh, is no. not to change it. <laughs> oh no! What's it gonna be next? What's it gonna be next? The Pepsi series? Oh no! Well, that's going on. Here comes Bird. At least take the lead. Yep. Two Wick 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 oh. Rear Racing currently dominating the field right now. Uh, all yes, three, Bird. all Wick, the Wick entire Wick team, the entire oh, team Wick is Bird. up front. The 0550 
the 05, 50, and 55 have got only three cars on that team, and all three of them up front right now. Wick rare. The yeah, wick rare. That's it's a very rare wick. A little strong at this track. Very rare. Here comes a couple of Chevys and a couple of Ports. It was the United we picked the bottom. Ooh, I'm nice block out of 55. Version of the Rick Ware racing logo. They just well, swapped the W and the R of the Rick, Wick Ware racing logo. Yep, pretty much. Got our 2022 Jazz 500 winner, Sammy the Boxer, right there mm -hmm. behind, not a weeb. Chevy's trying hey, to spoil what a good the block. Chevy's, Chevrolet trying to spoil the Toyota party right now. And here Where's comes the, the 23. Devil, very good at holding these lines right now and defending that lead. As uh, as I say that, he, he gets yeah, passed. Sammy in the bus gets a nice yeah, run as he sends it down low with the car number three. I still can't believe the Nash. I can't believe the Nashville Street Course is going to be a failure. Well, not really yet of a failure unless you know Titan Stadium collapses. Tough battle there. I think the 23 barely got out of the line. I'm surprised he did. By oh no, he didn't get it. Never mind. Wow. All right, Bishop. Here comes the 07. Um... Took the game a minute to figure out which position he was in. It's in our chosen three after all. It does take to like turn one. Sometimes people turn one to figure out who's who. Who's who and who's where. Definitely so. But uh, Zevil. What's Jonah Bridge? Yeah. Jonah Bridge trying to get a lap led here. Uh, Zevil's led uh, pretty much every lap since he's been up front. Very good at um, these lines, blocking them. Shouldn't it be the dominant really card moment. Do I'm not ready to see those duels tomorrow. Line control, I'll give him that. Very good line control right now. He blocks the high side, he blocks the low side. He's not going to be easy to pass for the lead. Yeah, that third line on the top, the Wick Rare cars, still trying to hold strong, but other than that, they're starting to get swallowed by the field. Yeah, but some people are saving their stuff at the end, too. So. Definitely That's so. crazy. I'm probably laying back in case of a wreck. Someone is going for the lead just to get more points. I wouldn't be surprised if the wreck happens in the middle. We're almost four wide in the middle. Yeah, 29 is Skyler Taylor. Tried something. A little bit aggressive doing it by Patrick Miller there as well. Or not Pat. I, I'm losing my mind. I said Patrick Miller. It's supposed to be uh, 18 of Gunther. Getting my Smoss and Cup mixed up. And Patrick Miller don't even race in Smoss anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're racing the big <laughs> car. Yeah, I get it figured out. Bro's getting his ears and series next stuff. He's gonna have to take it. He's gonna take a while to adjust. Yeah. New faces, yeah. new numbers, and a couple of new manufacturers. Yeah, yeah you, you know, you know, I'll be lost when I start calling mm -hmm. the three car Austin Johns. Then you'll know I'm lost. <laughs> oh no! Oh, and then Reggie gets me. Oh, there. Start calling. Or start calling LJ so Toledo. Who would be the three Herman. anyway? Reggie. Reggie's the three. Or start calling LJ Toledo uh, Richard Herman. <laughs> then I'm, then I'm <laughs> Richard, Richard Herman? Yep. Daniel, uh, da I don't know why I said Daniel. Da David Dawn has joined the chat or the booth. Hello. I, I think I said Daniel died because both your initials are both <laughs> DD. So yeah. Hey, so <laughs> give, give me a give me a break. I've been getting names wrong all. I've been getting names wrong all race. About 15 laps in out of 70. How's how's everyone going? Yeah, it's going good. Daniel Dye is known for, you know... What, what are we doing right now? Moving on, uh... <laughs> We're not gonna say. Well, so We're far, Zevil is leading. For, um, you know, just getting in a fight high school. Just going to wait for that. <laughs> well, uh... If you'd like a fun fact, pretty soon I'm gonna be leaving to be going to this track. Oh, you're going to the Daytona 500, you lucky... Yeah, I've gone the past Aren't two you years. Lucky? Nice save. Oh, aren't you lucky? Thanks. Well, you know, this is going on. Right? Devil's still holding on to the lead as the fifth thing is. Man, what? up to the draft. Let's see, who pinged me? For who pinged it? I was looking at CCS showroom. A lot of people tell me that uh, the schemes I make are amazing, and then it's a base I use. <laughs> Uh, credits to Paint by Raw on the number five if he, if, if he ever comes up front in this race. Trying to get that bottom line going to get around this 55 car. Silas Wilmot 
making his first ever cup start. Again, does not gonna not gonna get oh. the run. Jacob Chandler trying to make it three he would, wide, but it's gonna be definitely gonna, three wide. They're gonna have to work real hard the to upper this gets 55. Stuck in the middle. Because the lane control this 55 car has is insane right now. But the draft is not with the 64. It was the 15 is going to go middle. 48 is not close enough. 50, 55 doesn't look like he have a lot of draft up here either. But I don't think I think he's going to get that exit run. It's going to hurt him. I don't know. Alex momentum at the short lane is just... I love how uh, David Don came, came... I love how David Don just came in the booth just to flex he was going to this track. That's insane. Yeah, that's literally insane. <laughs> we might. See what took us the next year. Mm. Who knows? Question so, is, who's ever going to pass Zebel for the lead? Because so far, like, they travel. No one's not able to, to do it. Zebel has become the Joey Logano of plate racing right now. Oh, so he's going to do aggressive blocks and call the big one? <laughs> Probably, but now he doesn't have any help, yeah, so he's about to get... Junior, that would have been accurate. Well, it looks like he's out but... of help now. That top line has dissipated, and it looks like he's going to get finally passed for the lead. But Jacob Shangle is going to lead it at the line. He did, but inside to go high. What's the lead room for not a weeb? Yeah, yeah that top line has been... Go towards the middle. Oh, it looks like uh, Vince Freeze in the 28 is going to go three wide to the lead. But, yeah, Mr. Top... Uno himself. Yeah, but that top line was just—he uh, ran out of ran out of real ran out of um, fuel, and bottom line was able to get momentum. Lost it. Here comes the number 15. Yeah, 15 car looking very hot right now. He's been trying to get to this lead for quite a few laps here. Uh, Silas Wilmot. He may get it. Uh, 28 doesn't quite have the draft. He's got another the other part-time entry right next to him, uh, Skyler Taylor. But yeah, 15 is going to lead the lap here. Again, points not going to be awarded to part-time drivers, but um, he will get uh, he will give some points to uh, the track house uh, for constructor standings. He's on. Skylar Taylor's a tricky one because they were on a single car team in Smos. They came in with that same single car team in Cups, so I guess I'll still count them for uh, constructors, but it won't be much. I guess I guess something something to. I guess someone to finish last ahead of anyone else who sucks, I guess. I don't know. Depends on how many part-time entries yeah, single car drivers. My Yoko. Three car pull away. Skylar Taylor, Yoiko, and uh, NH. I think that's the only uh, half life right in the series. What's next, the Ninji Sanji? <laughs> I will say, Toyota has... With their return to CCS, um, has really brought a good super speedway package today. Or they got something figured out. About that. You remember that? Sorry. Here comes that car you were talking about. Oh yeah, the one I thought was Patrick Miller. Ooh, what a bump by the Gunther. Yeah, he moved over to the 18 from 76. He moved his former teammate. That was aggressive. So far, the Toyotas have much to leave for the lead, but... It's like uh, we lost Cactus King. I don't know if he'll be returning or not. Hey, Zach, you got him in a Toyota? Uh, no, that was a Chevy. Car. Chevy. I say, that looks way different than a Chevrolet, like, in I think the paint is different. It's based on a Toyota. I think that might be what you're saying, if anything. Because the scheme itself was a Toyota, so I trans translated it to a Chevy. Okay. Yeah. So I'm it's not saying. gonna look exactly the same because the front ends are different. And talking about polish, here comes polish on the bottom. <laughs> He's had an interesting career. So not a nice shuffling going on. A lot of shuffling in the back. Guys, trying to figure out what's the best line to be at. 
I think right now, timing when you're going to go to pit. Because we know for... I think I know for a fact. I'm about 90% sure they're going to pit this race. If they don't, I'm going to be kind of surprised. Because this is double the distance. Or not double, but 10 laps longer than last season. We had green flag pit stops last season. Late in the race, so... I'm going to assume lap 32 will be the first pit stop. And with them splitting... I, I expect them to split up... The, the spiel to split up with the pit stops. Uh, because... Of that little 10 lap extra run they have. I see lap 35 looking down. Wait, yep. it was a Jeff Jordan. Yep, that'd be he hit on the second. Yep, he's holding the Chevy torch right now. Got a little train on the top as I say that. A couple Chevys go down and try to challenge Skylar Taylor for that position. He's holding down low. Skylar doesn't have a lot of draft up top. Jeff may make this work. And it looks like Paulus is getting a little greedy there, so we'll see how that goes. But well, I believe make it three one. I believe Jeff but Jordan he did just the lap. let that lap by an inch. Yep, that's gonna be two bonus points for him. Unless he comes up and leads the most laps, then he gets ten instead of two bonus points. Now Daniel Paul Jr. Mm -hmm. takes the lead. And here comes Messi. I see. Oh, yeah, they're back there as well. They're behind Sean Ard. The sandwich between the SB1 racing team cars right now. But Daniel Pauls Jr. going to lead the lap. He's going to get ten point, or two points at least to his bonus as well. Well, the Chevrolets have slowly swallowed the Toyotas for now. As it looked like their uh, run in the beginning was very good. Uh, Chevys may have figured out. Uh, Skyler Taylor has. Uh, I thought they. I, I could have swear they were up on top. I guess they were able to get a run and came down. They're still on that lead back. Yep. Toyota very dominant. Uh, uh, you got handed these part-time drivers. Both the part-time drivers in this field have been running up front consistently the entire race so far. That's impressive. And of course, we've seen last week Jet 64 win it. Uh, not, not to bash Cactus, but uh, he was probably the weakest link of the part-time driver so far this season. Of the four we've had so far this season. One race. I've seen at least one Toyota is very strong, able to hold on good to control the line. Yeah. The Fords don't look like they're getting up to speed. Sorry? So the Fords don't look like they're up to, up to speed. Uh, that's uh, Frank Chilton. Remember one of them Toyota drivers? I to go towards the middle. Yeah, middle line is not really the best place to be at this point. But there's still a lot of reason to go. A lot can happen. And we still got, what, 40 laps to go? Oh, yeah, we still got a long ways to go. So far, all the way green. At this rate, wouldn't be surprised if we go full green race. Uh, every race this season, both series have been green start to finish, which is uh, pretty good. I say they come down pit road between now and lap 35. They'll be starting hitting pit road. See what they see what their uh, pit crew stra or their crew chiefs are strategizing. I don't expect yes, them all to come I in think at the once. I have to let's see. I believe the lead still belongs to the 29. They just yeah, weren't loading in. They, they just weren't loading in because drawing distance. So. There's the back Oh, mm. Dripsy. He's on the way up to the front. I'm all for 
works. They got that in a pit. Let's see how it goes. We're another two laps. But so far, Taylor has been con has a great control over this field. Yeah, we've seen that with Zebel as well. Just when I thought yeah, they'd I swallowed up all the Chevys, uh, this 29 is still holding strong in front. But is that, did you turn on pit road? <laughs> yeah, their pit stops are turned on. Just keep in mind, uh, they could probably go to lap, s lap 55, I think. Is as far as they could go, I think, at this point. Well, I'm just guessing based off last season, because... <laughs> Cars were like running out of gas and barely make it to the end on, with in a 60 lap race and went had only one caution and uh, no one pitted on that caution. And that was last year's Jazz 500. Yeah, great. There's only going to be one pit stop. I left it on fuel safe mode. Yep. Yeah, I can see some I guys going fuel safe mode. Try to find your buddies. Who are you going to pit with? Don't pit by yourself. Actually. Take that back. Pitting by yourself, you don't have as many cars to worry about slowing down for, so... Make your decision well, you wisely. The is, if you pit by yourself, you're gonna lose the draft. That is true. He's got Especially like a track like Daytona. Yep. And, some, and you don't want to pit too many, then you got, then you be hitting each other on pit road. Yeah, you're gonna get clogged up, it's gonna cost you a ton of time. But then again, that draft can gain a lot of that time back up if it's planned right. And timed right, most importantly. Either don't pin too early or don't pin too late. It's all about when you pit and who you pit with. And it looks Speaking like we got our first stopped. takers. I believe Bradley Room is going to lead at the line. A lot of cars coming in, so Wait. I believe this is going to be a decently large pack coming into pit road right now. A lot of That's shuffling in the back. The These two are going to take a pretty big lead here. That's going to eventually cost them. Blink you. <laughs> yeah, that's cars, cars coming oh, in. Out of, Ream. Cars coming in and out of pit road. Let's He's gonna lead that lap. The get, second wave. Yep. Yeah, led that lap. Got a couple bonus points. That's he coming now. Oh, a little bit. That was a, a bit risky. Oh, see me in the box. It's kind of close. It's on the second wave. Yeah, that's big checkups there. Seeing the a box. Yeah, that's a lot more cars than this one. Yeah, seeing a box and Neil Paul's got together pretty tight. There is a Zion. He's gonna get two points for leading the lap. He's your current leader, so I'd stay out. And this will strategize. Three. Um, they haven't pitted yet, so they've currently got the 29 a lap down. Got Charnard there, so I believe there's only two cars that haven't pitted, if I'm not mistaken. I did the last two. Yeah, these two are former teammates, or teammates last year, but this season that will not ring true. And no, they weren't we the only two to stay out. Look how much time the 77 gained coming in there. Big time gain. Uh, that's not going to matter, though. They're going to keep the draft. But the 29 uh, will get their lap back. You can see how they'll shuffle out here compared to the other cars that came in. Leader that time by was Wave Sean Arnold. number three. It looks like this five and the six may be... They're going to be right with the 29 at this point. As they're still getting up to speed. The 29 is going to close in. So the three right here probably had the best strat. Eventually they'll get swallowed well, they up by... They had a, a drafting partner after all. Yeah, so I think... I, you know what? I could be wrong that the 15 may... That 29 may not catch up immediately. Leader at the line... Uh, I don't think the timing's updated quite yet, but 67 still scored the leader. We'll see where he is at. We know there's a 97. And yeah, these guys are going to beat him out of pit road easily here. The 67 is going to try to sniff the lead Right here. Yep. Sandy Messi versus Bradley Ream. Bradley Ream has not won, I don't believe, since uh, last season at the Indy Road Course. Got one win last season, and it was. eh, almost a year ago. I say that lightly. It was May of last year. Sandy Messi, of course, Nothing. a rookie. Doesn't have any new wins to their name, I don't believe. Actually, take that back. They may have one in Smos. I could be wrong. I think we got the two-car tango at the moment. Yeah, two-car tango. That 67 is going to try to 
Conf hold on a second. I think we got some smoke in the back. That may be a yellow. Uh, yep, that's yeah. a yellow. Yellow flag is out here at Daytona. That's going to change everything. Right off the caution. Yeah, we got to see what happened here. Oh, wow. Let's hear LJ Toledo. Oh, it started before that. That's bad. Oh, my. This looks bad. 63. Oh, we got more. The 20. This is the big one, possibly. Big wreck here. Let's see the 27, the 20. 97's upside down. 97. He just came Ooh, out that of here early. A yeah, big, massive wreck here. We gotta see how this started. Whoa. This is the terrible part of the racetrack. Nowhere for anybody to go. Oh, he got dumped he, by. He, he had no. He really had nowhere to go. Um, let's go slow mo here. But uh, yeah, I got an 82. Yeah, he was slow. I'll give him that. And Patrick Miller may go two DNFs in a row. 81 just had nowhere to go. 97 merged late. I'm not really sure how to judge that per se. <clears throat> but this is the big one here. Uh, these guys slide down. Unfortunately, 51. Un unlike Ooh, 24, Yoko able barely to avoid. avoids it. Vince Freeze destroyed. Some Dan's destroyed. Their days were done. Paul is able to avoid. Right. So is a 23, 9. All those guys. Here comes third Alexa Gaming. We may have more. There goes the Canadian, the number 20. That's uh, 20, I believe, is French. And then he couldn't slow down in time, so he's involved. Roach able to avoid. Cazzo uh, not able to more. avoid. Lethal Mortar. There goes to 55. There Cazzo, goes Jacob Shangle. Yeah, uh, amazing avoidance by uh, Bra uh, uh, um, uh, Bobby Isaac. There's going to be at least 10 cars. Oh, Crazy BGD, Ooh, the Toledo. Oh. And the 53. Nasty hit. And there. I think there's more. That's about at least Seven, 10 or 12 cars. 17 able to avoid. Uh, Reggie's involved. The 89 is in it. I got to see the where three. we're three. Yeah, that should be good. 26. Oh, hard hit by the three in the 89. And 13. And I think... Ah, that was a rough well, Maybe able to continue, though. That was a Other massive wreck. Not. Massive crash. Uh, we're going back to live coverage. Biggest Jazz 500 wreck in a long time. Go ahead and take a look at the current. Uh, that took out about half... That took out a chunk of the... Big chunk of the field. Um... Reggie Fogelman going to be the lucky dog. Um, he, I'm not sure if he was left down or not, but regardless. I am. I'm on my, yeah, I'm on left down. But... Reggie Fogelman, what? lucky dog. Once we uh, figure out the time loop this time around. So, uh, Santa Messi going to be the leader here. I'm be doing a double yeah, file restart. So. Car incident. Yeah, big, big wreck. So, Gunther... Patrick Miller going to be two races in a row, DNF. Vince Freeze, LJ Toledo, Lethal Mourner, the 55 is Zevil, who led a lot of laps early. Unfortunately, that's not going to lead to a lot of points, but enough to put some kind of gap out. The 26 of Gar Salamander, some Dan in the 63, the 20 of Third Alexa Gaming, the 05 of Crazy BGD, the 97 of Zine, 64 of Jacob Shangle, the 89 of... Uh, Brad Stover and Reggie Fogelman still in the race, but got some damage in the lap down right now. Go to the back of the pack here and see where everyone else is at. Wheel green out this time and next time by. Pace speed here is so far, fairly cool. down, but not out. We're going to go ahead and wave around the three. They're the only car lap down. The other cars that were lap down wrecked. So we're down to... I don't know how many competitive cars, but 29 cars in all in the field. Three is going to take the wave around here. They should do a double file restart again. Sandy Messi, Bradley Ream, Bradley Ream currently. If he jumps, I think we, I think, I think we ruled it as a. If there was a car length in between the leader and second place at the line, when they cross it, that is a black flag. So, is that as being? Haven't had any issues here with that in the past. I don't believe so. Shouldn't be much concern. Other than that, a uh, Wick Rare Racing with a, with a strong showing. Unfortunately, Bird, the only survivor of that. He's looking for two top five, two top tens in a row. Potentially two top fives. I'm not sure if he's still in it. But, uh, again, a lot of racing to go. And this, uh, really, uh, we had everyone take the pit strategy route. So, 
Everyone's back in a pack now. We have damaged cars, we have oh, cars. We to the end as well. Okay, so, roll on DQ, I think we're going to do, if they are losing, I want to say five seconds a lap, because I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. The draft here is pretty strong, the speeds are already high, but if they're going five seconds a lap, if they're losing five seconds a lap by themselves, that's going to be in park, so... Uh, there's a few cars that are involved in that are still in the race. Not a lot, though. A lot of them went ahead and called it a day. As that was some pretty bad wreck. We're, I haven't seen one that bad, really, since 2022. 2023, we just had one car stall, and that was Dan Paulus Jr. He was actually able to finish the race that year. Um, he will... Uh, is, is he, did, was he involved in that wreck? He was not. So he's still in it. He'll have a chance to finish better than what he did last year in that two-car. But going green this time... I forgot to do pace minus, Please but I guess start. the game already knew what I was thinking anyway. We will have roughly, I'm not going to try to do the math on that, but we'll have, we'll have lefts to go. <laughs> I know that. Wait, that was less than 30. I will say that. Restart. Before we even turn one. Yep. Go. Keep an eye on our cars in the back. Starting to see gaps already from cars that are damaged. Oh yeah, I forgot we're on spectator cam. That's why I wasn't seeing the billboards. Or that's why I was seeing the billboards rather. Yes, you know why for a second. As Messi leaves the field. Something I don't believe we've ever had happen is two part-time drivers win a race in a row. Having two part-time winners in a row, I don't believe it's ever happened in CCS. So we have a chance for that to happen today. Sills Wilmot, and albeit Skylar Taylor still up here as well, they've been pretty dominant of this race. Uh, they definitely have a good chance of doing it. So through that pitch strategy, we've seen the 6, the 5, and the 29 kind of pull ahead there. As uh, they're kind of at this point in the track now. Yeah, but I caution him out, I cost him. So the field is all backed up again. That barely rain is. Take a little line for a second. Ah, uh, Reggie, I uh, hate to say it, man. Uh, you're losing six seconds a lap. We're going to have to call the race for you, man. Sorry about that. A 29th place finish, so. Unfortunately, that wreck was too bad. I'll have to keep an eye on that 17 as well. They're losing quite a bit of time. We'll have to see if it's down to 5 or not. Oh, they don't have to damage to it. Oh, no. Hello, baby. At least that was some type of point. Uh, oh, yeah, 17. Yeah, they're, they're done too. I think the 60 and the 59 are good. Anyways, battle for the lead. Yeah, the... I think Bradley Rain, he may get it at the line with the help of Ricky Crown Jr. Nope. Messy. Ooh, just by a nose. We welcome uh, Bobby Isaac to the booth. Hello, hello. All good. And it looks like he lost his voice to concert, so... <laughs> yeah, Jim, will stay for a few minutes. Good race, though, so far. Yeah, I'll we'll, we'll probably is. remain quiet. Right. Yeah, I think you're still Ooh. in it. Uh, we had a Ooh, big what a one. by Messi. We had a big one during the pit cycle, and uh, took out all but 29 cars, and now down to 27 with two cars that had to, we had to pull off the track due to being off pace. And 
Of course. Then he meant this. Been leading the field. Yeah, I've seen Bradley Ringer here. Yeah. Three wide for a second. Yeah, he got shuffled back. We're coming to 20 go, not this lap, but next time around. But everyone should be good on gas to the end at this point. We're about fuel or nothing. Fireball in the ninth car. Yep, that's Fireball 48. I was in a uh, NASCAR, yep. Anyone that's A little bit of a two-call pull away with that three-wide race in there. It was brief, though. I start catching back yeah. up here. Side draft, I'm gonna hurt the guys in the back. Yep, comes a two of Daniel Paulus and EAV car. And we are now 20 laps to go this time by. Bro, this little pull away is giving me 2009 Talladega vibes. Gaining on him though. Maybe two tenths a lap. But the more they stay nose to tail, the more they pull away. I think we got about a 19 car pull away. The rest of the field just not quite up to pace on that uh, front. Yeah, so most of them did get damaged after all. I think we'll at least see the 66, 59, and 60 go lap down in this run. I believe they're on pace enough not to cause a huge issue if they do. Well, that's on me. Making a poor judgment. They're both fireball as they go to the bottom. Yeah, no draft on the top, so the five car the may, may have to surrender the lead here. Nine's gonna clear high, and that's all she said for right now. All she wrote, rather. They both bird make, trying to make it through wide for a second, but. Very aggressive driver than the car is. And so does fireball. Nice line manager there by the nine, came in to block the high lane, and then come down to the low lane for the run. You mean they go on the west lane, can get them to the front as they go from top to bottom? Yep. It was, it was some nice blocking. We almost got a two lane in Well, we do that one least in the middle. For a second. Until third. We were talking how uh, dominant Toyota has been most of this race with the 29 and the 55 and Wick Rear Racing being all three cars up front at one point. Now, uh, Burr's the only car left on the team, left on the team still in this race. So, currently holding the flagship and uh, currently in top three. We'll see how he finishes if he. Uh, this goes well for him. Let's find your draft partner. Guess who's worth with you? I think one thing, that's five pass as hell on the top. control.
It means who's gonna challenge Fireball? Yeah, this field is very definitely toned down for right now. That top lane and that bottom lane has kind of hit a stalemate at this point. That nine car has just been able to manage very well. It's the king of food and chick at this point. Now again, it's a kind of stalemate. That bottom line is definitely a little more dominant than the top line is. Uh, Messi hasn't really been able to challenge the nine on the top line. Fifty's trying to run that same line, see if he can get any have anything for that nine car. It looks like that uh, top line may be falling back a little bit at this point. Right, moved low. Well, doesn't, doesn't have any help. He makes his move. Moved low, but he doesn't have any help. I don't think it's gonna stick. Yeah, you don't have a drafting partner. Yeah, that 88's not really close enough to him. Nine car's gonna get a big run here off the corner. Yeah, I mean, he knows how to side draft. Yeah, that puts at least slow him down. Yeah, that puts the rail fan teammates up front at this point. Only two cars on that team left in the race. Vince Freeze uh, wrecked out in that one wreck, and uh, 17 was involved, but unfortunately was not able to continue. And it looks like, uh, as we're coming to Tenego this time around, uh, we're going to have that lap traffic be a factor of Cody Forge, Roach, and Barney Thresher the third. They're just kind of in a draft field of their own right now. Still on pace enough to uh, stay in the race. Just trying to finish it. One day lose a bumper. Uh, I don't think either of them lost a bumper, but they got some pretty heavy damage from that wreck. I know 60 was involved. 59 didn't think it was involved too much. Neither did I think 66. But gonna, oh yeah, 66 is out of bumper. You're correct. <laughs> Here comes the lead back, too. I believe that's still being led by uh, Fireball 48. So the question is now, how how is that lap down car is going to affect this pack? Because they're going to be a factor. Are the lap cars going to hold their line? Let me affect the lead. Lane, or, uh... Eventually. Oh yeah, they're already getting draft from it, so that's going to change things already. But it depends on which lane either party goes to... Uh... Oh, 9 went high. Down a little bit. Bird didn't use him as a pick, but unfortunately Cody has had to go to the bottom. Bird gets a little ahead there. Oh, the, they can't figure out where to go. They're, they're kind of in the middle right now. That's going to let the 50 go by. There's not much they can do. They're going to bottom line, Dennis. Yep. We have the yellow I think there's point. Roach in 66. Yep, that's correct. That slows Bird down a little bit. That's going to give room for Strauss. That top line's But, just, but you can't take down. advantage of it. Unfortunately, lap cars killed that nine cars run. They were trying to figure out which lane to go to, and both were occupied. There. How much that could have been done on either party's side. Oh, wow, here we go. Wow. Is it going to be three wide for the lead? Wilmot is the only... Well, no, here comes uh, the 61. That's going to leave the 50 out to dry. for the lead. Jeff Jordan leads a lap. Kazo on the bottom. Man. Now, a little bit more of a breakaway. That uh, lap traffic definitely killed this, uh, the run of those other cars. 
Because we're now down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 car pack, I think. Okay. Yep, correct. 10 car pack. Sean R is going to take the lead now on the 67. Question now is, do we have any more lap cars that's going to be a factor? I Maybe. the 82. But I don't think there's enough time for him to go lap down. That second line is slowly catching up as well. I believe that eight car is a little weak right now. He might have got a little damage. He was kind of off pace from this uh, first pack originally. So far we got pack one and pack two. That second pack's already back they, at this point. Oh yeah, they're going to back on them in another lap. Yeah, they're going to come back at, probably around here right now. Yeah, they're you here. Know they, you know they're going to get antsy here in a minute. Yep, coming to yeah, five laps to go now. at this point. Hart is in the lead. Unfortunately, some of these guys got screwed because up by Taylor lap traffic. Making their, making their move. Sean Ard, uh, he won Portland last year. Had a strong showing. He's trying to win the Jazz 500 if he can get it done. Dark, who do you think's going to win? What do you think? Yeah, big win for Nard. Zach, who do you pick to win? Ah, too early to tell. Not to mention owner, owner bias is never good. <laughs> Now, if you asked me at the beginning of the race, uh, I'm going full corruption. But right now, at this point, stakes are too high. I'm only limited to maybe a pick of 15 cars, give or take. I'm not sure how many is in this draft. I'll check here. Oh, boy. A 16-car draft, so I, I don't know if it's going to be enough. We've seen that 9-car. He got picked out. He's probably going to finish 17th at this rate. Coming to two to go next time by. Somehow they're doing good. Two to go, two to go next time around. Taylor's making a move. I don't think it's going to be enough. I think that 21's got it on the top of the 67, unless that straight line speed on the bottom is going to be enough. I just don't think it is. Yeah, Yoko is coming slowly. to a three three line at the moment two laps to go next time around is uh, the white flag got lap cars up front they're not going to be a problem they're not going to sean ards led this pack for a good five laps at this point it's going to come down to this last lap here. 59, try to get down. Or, not 59, 51, rather. Not going to be enough. White flag here in the Jazz 500. We'll make the last lap pass, or will our hang on the win? Yeah, he's blocking like crazy on that 51 car. He's putting everything on the... Yoiko putting everything on the line here. Are they going to make a move? Nope. And maybe all she wrote. Hold on. 51. Staying in the draft. They know if they make a move too soon, it might not be enough. But I think 67's got enough enough at this point. Yeah. Trying to make some moves aggressively, but no. It's all she wrote. Sean Ard, your 2024 Jazz 500 winner. How about that? There we go. Well, that was a race and a half. It was interesting. Lap cars dip coming in as a factor at the end. Sean Ard comes out on top. Well, Y'all got yeah. any last thoughts before I read off the top ten? Gotta say that was pretty interesting. It's a really good race. Really good race.
Sean I was able to hold on, and then we have... Let's see... I guess the top 10 is mostly kind of what I expected. Uh, Not too bad of a race. We're going to go ahead and list that off. Of course, Sean Arge, winner. Yoiko uh, is going to get second. Uh, unfortunately, wasn't enough. Birds Crown Jr. gets third. Fourth place is a 29 of Skylar Taylor in their debut. Pretty impressive. Fifth place, Bobby Isaac in the 71. Sixth place, Dark X Rain. Seventh place, teammate to Dark X Rain, Giff Jordan. Eighth is Bird with a second straight top 10. Just from knowledge, I know that. And sixth place, or ninth place, Bradley Ream. Tenth place, Frank Chilton. Their first top ten of the season. Well, anyways, for me, Dark X Rain, everyone else who joined the broadcast that have apparently left at this point. Um, thank you all for watching. Next week, uh, actually, let me see what next week is for Cup. Real quick. Uh, next week's Cup race is at the Rockingham. Interesting. Interesting pick to vote Ooh, on that. That should be a good race. Yeah, we'll see. But anyways, we'll see y'all next time.